Hey guys, this is Colin Naples yet again, and this is after the uh, Nintendo E3 conference, or, well, not really a conference, more like their E3 Direct of Awesomeness! Ba ba ba. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I actually thought that uh, Nintendo's uh, Direct would be longer than an hour, it turned out to be 20 minutes shorter than an hour. Hmm, I wonder, hmm, I wonder what, what happened there, but, you know, even though the Direct was mad short, it was awesome, it was a great Direct! Um, <laughs> pretty much nothing more to be said there. Anyways, um, let's move on to the news. They started, uh, first things first, they started out with Pokemon X and Y. Immediate hype for that. Lo I'm going to talk a lot about Pokemon in this short 8 minutes and something odd seconds. Anyways, um, they showed off some of the gameplay, which looked amazing, because you know it's Pokemon and everything Pokemon touches is gold, so you know it's amazing. Fairy type is a new type. Um, they came out with this uh, Pokemon Ami thing, where you can pet and, you know, play with your Pokemon. That's actually really cool. Because as a die-hard Poke fan such as myself, some of us like doing that. And I wouldn't mind petting my pet Azumarill or my pet Meryl or my pet Sylveon or my pet Pikachu or Raichu or Chespin or wherever Chespin evolves to, yada yada yada, so forth, so forth, so forth. Um, and the box art looks absolutely awesome. The box art looks awesome. It looks awesome. October 12th cannot come soon enough. It just can't. Also, yo boy, Azumarill is a fairy now. Yep, that that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I now kill dragons. Anyways, um, after that, you know, that's pretty, that was pretty much, well, one of the highlights. Mario 3D World. I, I like it. I like it. I thought it would be more akin to Mario Galaxy... Or, you know, kind of like Mario 64 ish. But hey, I'll take Super Mario 3D World, and the cat Mario looks amazing. Because I love cats. I love cats. I love cats. Anyways, um, multiplayer, I, I, uh, I, I like multiplayer Marios. You can play as Mario, Luigi, Peach, or Toad. And it, it, I, 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 love the, I love the concept, and I love the aspect. Really good game. It's going to be really good. I'm going to get it because I'm a sucker for 3D Marios. It's coming out December. I don't know. The time hasn't been announced, so... Or, the day hasn't been announced. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. Mario Kart 8 was next. Mario Kart 7, I bought, but I wasn't too much of playing it because I was just too busy playing Pokemon and a little bit of Kid Icarus, but, you know... Other than that, I mean, Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U is a welcome addition, and, it's all, and it also gives me a new game I can rage at everyone about. People who have seen me play Mario Kart Wii know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I gotta bring my salty Kool-Aid for that one. Anyways, um, Mario Kart 8 will be coming spring 2004. That, that's kind of a theme, because a lot of these games come out 2014, which is kind of a bummer. But then again, we got a lot of third party coming this year, so you know it's it's not it's not too bad. Then they showed We Party You and We Fit You. Um, I'm not really a fan of We Party or We Fit, but I mean, for those of you who like We Party and for those of you who are really hyped for We Fit, I mean, there you go, there's your games. And uh, We Party You is coming out in October. We Fit You is coming out in December, so, I mean, for those that, you know, I, I mean, I personally won't get them, but, I mean, for those of you that will get them, maybe that's two extra games for you guys. Um, Art Academy is, I guess, for all the art, for all the Nintendo fans who like art, and, so for all you, for all you on D, DA, DeviantArt, might want to get that, <laughs> I don't know when it, anyways, um, they showed a lot of third party things, like, stuff like, Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, Rayman. The one I'm hyped about the most, of course, is Sonic Lost World, which will be coming out holiday this year. Very excited for it. It's going to be awesome. Um, showed a lot of ESOP indie stuff. 
well, you know, I mean, indie, I mean, uh, well, indie games, I mean, it, it depends, it, like, I think, I hate to say it, but I think Sony showed some of the better, uh, indie stuff as far as the conference goes, though Mighty Switch Force 2 looks absolutely awesome, which one, yeah, and then, uh, let's see what we got here, I'm on the next page here, Wind Waker HD, hype levels rose again for me, because I love Wind Waker. Wind Waker is my favorite Zelda. Forget Ocarina of Tom, forget Link to the Past, forget Skyward Sword, forget Twilight Princess, forget Majora's Mask. Don't really, not really forget all of them except for, you know, Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess because I didn't like them. But anyways, that, it, that that's another, another topic. Wind Waker HD looks amazing. Um, I kind of wish they added a couple dungeons because I really hated looking for Triforce Shards, but I'm going to be has to be looking for Triforce Shards yet again, so whatever. Um, that's coming out October. Hopefully, hopefully either really early or really late October, that would be nice. Because if it comes out like the week after Pokemon, I'm like, aww. But anyways, that game is going to, I'm getting that game I anyways. Then they show Wonderful 101. Wonderful 101 I really like I really like the concept of that too. It looks awesome. You get to use the gamepad to combine some of the members, use them as weapons to fight enemies. I I I I'm 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 pretty sold on the game. I'm sold on the game. Um and it's actually coming out September 15th, which is actually kind of shocking. I thought it would come out October or November. But hey. Um Then they show Bayonetta 2. Uh, this, I gotta say, the Bayonetta looks like new Dante. They cut her hair, I wonder what, and they gave her a new outfit. I guess they wanted to nintendo her, I guess? I, I don't know. But anyways, the game, the gameplay looks awesome. The trailer looked amazing. The trailer looked even better, and, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna be a great game, but why is this game coming out in 2014? It should've came out this year, I would've thought, but... Guess not. Um, then they show Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I'm I'm game. I mean I I mean I mean here's the thing about the Wii U. They're just dropping the platformer bombs, and I love it because I love platformers. I mean it, I mean Donkey Kong, Mario, and Sonic. It's those are the three of those are the three. That look like this year. Mario Sonic. So I guess 2013 is the year of the platformer, which I am very happy with. Uh, you, uh, by the way, Dixie Kong is in the game. You get to play as same multiplayer, same little what you call it. You are you are in the Arctic now. You're like in this cold place. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze November. I'm getting it. Like I'm getting all most of the other Wii U games. So you know I'm so. <laughs> The next game of the conference was X. I'm going to tell you right now, Final Fantasy 15. you got some competition with X. You got some competition. It's going to be very interesting to see what comes out to be the better RPG between X and Final Fantasy 15. Because X looks absolutely awesome. It's just as awesome as Final Fantasy 15 did. And I can't really say Kingdom Hearts because that'll pro that'll be most likely be multi-plat, and I'm pretty sure that will come to the Wii U. So, yeah, calling it right now, Kingdom Hearts uh, three will be on the Wii U. I doubt I I I could be wrong, but I I doubt it. I, I think it's coming to the Wii U. Anyways, basically, we we have our uh, our we have our JRPG battle between X and Final Fantasy uh between Monolith and Square Enix. Gonna be pretty cool. Anyways, that's also coming out in 2014, which I kind of expected anyway, because, you know, all they show was X. <laughs> but anyways, that, it, I mean, that looks, which get, which comes to, uh, which, co which we come to the last game of the conference. Smash Brothers 3DS Wii U. People were hype. People are hype, and people are going to be even more hype. With all the characters, we get to do it all over again. We got the Animal Crossing Villager, and we got Mega Man coming to the game. I, I, 
I mean, we're, I mean the I mean the wait begins yet again for the they open the site and I mean I mean we're gonna be looking at items. When we look at characters, when we look for assist trophies, they keep doing it. Pokemon, I mean, everything. Everything, 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 everything. I mean, you know. <laughs> Smash. I mean, what can you say? It's Smash Brothers. <laughs> but anyways, um, Nintendo did a damn good E3. I think it might, I mean... This, between this and Sony's, is going to be tough, actually. But I think Nintendo might have pulled it out, even though... The, here's the thing. Nintendo's E3 was a little too short. Sony's E3 was a little too long. Nintendo brought out the games, but... You know, Nintendo brought out the better games. Sony brought out more games. Sony brought out the fact that they're not going to do the all the DRM thing. Nintendo brought out the fact that it shouldn't be a... That it shouldn't be an issue in the first place, and, you know... So, I mean... Nintendo definitely dropped bombs, though. This is Colin Naples. And, uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. Nintendo, way to go. Keep doing what you do. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Um, Nintendo has announced the Best Buy games that you'll be able to demo once you get there. It is Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and The Wind Waker HD. Nice selection of games, two platformers, Wind Waker, and Mario Kart. Two Mario games, and the Zelda game being the Wind Waker. So, I mean, I, I like the selection, I, I like what, you know, uh, Iwata did here. So, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. Also, also, as a side note, they, uh, they put out, uh, Ouija's UE3 stuff, they put out Yoshi's Island E3 stuff, and they put out a couple other things. So, okay, that's it. That's really it for me. This is Colin Naples. E3 was pretty good. So, I'm out. Bye, guys!